Hi, I'm Angela Price from Eden Condensed Small Space Garden Design, and this is Garden Space. Today I'm going to show you how to take cuttings from New Guinea impatiens. New Guinea impatiens are great because they're very sturdy, and even if a piece breaks off, if you get it in the ground in time, it will sprout roots and continue to grow and you'll have new plants. I actually have a client who's had a New Guinea impatient for about eight years because he keeps taking pieces off and sticking them in the ground and they keep uh, continuing to propagate that way. But if you want to be a little bit more uh, precise about it, I'll give you a few tips. Um, what you'll want to get ready is a damp paper towel uh, a nice sharp pair of scissors or garden shears, some disinfectant wipes because you want to make sure that your shears are disinfected. Either run these through the dishwasher, uh, wash them in a bleach solution of one part uh, bleach to ten parts water, or I like to use a disinfecting wipe, especially on small scissors because I can just get in and, and wipe them nice and clean here and that way you won't be introducing any bacteria into the plant itself and making sure that it's got a nice healthy start. Then you'll want to look at your New Guinean patient here and find a branch that uh, has a little leaflet and some other leaves down here and take your scissors and just snip right below that. So I'm going to take this off here and you'll see there's a leaf here there's a couple of little leaflets here. I'm also going to remove the flower buds off of this one because what you want is once you get it planted, you want the energy of the plant to go into growing roots and not into the flowers. The flowers will come later. So I am going to take off the buds and I'll probably take off some of these other small leaflets here. If they don't pinch off, I'll just snip them off with my scissors because again, you want most of the energy of the plant to go into the rooting. And then if I'm not gonna plant this right away, I wanna wrap the base of this in the damp paper towel because you don't wanna have the bottom part of the stem. It's just like if you cut yourself, it will start to seal itself off and that will uh, prevent any water from coming in. Do make sure that the uh, impatient plant that you have taken your cutting from has been well watered. In fact, if you water it very well the day before you take your cuttings, that will be the best because then it will have absorbed as much water as possible and that will give the cutting a good start. So that's pretty much what you need to do before you put it in the ground. When you're ready to plant them, get a pot with some nice organic potting soil, a little all-purpose fertilizer, and then you can just pop these in, two or three per pot should probably do. And within a couple of weeks, you'll see that the plants will start to grow and the roots have taken hold. If you have any other questions on how to take cuttings from New Guinea impatiens, please contact me at www.edencondensed.com. Thank you very much.